stop that. Your neck looks just disjointed from the rest of your body. <laughs> I'm like a bad <laughs> fucking, like, rigid body animation. Ugh, stop it. Cujo. I will stop it. Shake my hand, won't you? No, don't do that. Yeah, I don't weird. like that. You don't want to catch the gay? No, it's all in the spit. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Cujo oh. is uh, enjoying the music. <laughs> It's got feel, a nice little beat. Feeling the music. I actually think the music is actually... It, I just said actually twice. Actually, you actually did. Yeah. Actually. Well, I... In all actuality, you actually... Oh, you are just going the wrong way left and right, huh? No, it's not... It's, yeah? I'm just Can't not just going down the, the bubbly room? path. Oh, man. So I think oh. I think the music is... is well done for this game. I think it matches the style very well. Yeah. I know we haven't talked a ton about the art. Um, oh, that's the way out. Would you, would you look at that? And then the jellyfish went up there and they all died from the spikes up there. Yeah, whoa! What? Oh, God, I forgot about these things. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I actually really like these guys, too. Their, their weakness... I really appreciate that they don't have an up and down one. Yeah, that's actually what I was going to say. Is I like that their weakness is that you just have to be above or below them yeah. to work around them yeah. with, ease. with um, ease and it was designed along with that too right like you're presented with them being to your right yeah and then you know after a couple explode then that's your chance to kind of <sighs> get underneath them of course right now it kind of does the opposite where it's just like a well i guess the challenge well, here is making sure you, you take your time yeah I, I was gonna say i think right here is where they're like it's don't it's, rush it's the dark souls Paradox. I mean, kind yeah, of. I called it a paradox just because I thought it sounded nice. Dark Souls, I think, works having that slow momentum because of oh, its complexity. No. Okay. Ugh. Okay. It's not going to slam down really quick. Ugh. It's always go, 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 Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hey, man, I did okay earlier. I, I know. It's just I don't like this mechanic in games. Not because it's a bad mechanic, but it's, because it messes with me a little bit. It is number one the thing that I hate most about water levels, yeah. to be honest. Oh. And it's because it's so difficult. And in a way, it still is fun. I think in this game, it's actually... Um, I think it's better in this game than in a lot of yeah. other games that have water levels, simply because the collision... Whoop, the collision boundary on those little like coral spikes. Yeah, it actually is. It's pretty deep into the actual art for the those spikes. Oh, okay. Um, so you can you can touch the tips and you won't die. And makes sense. I think that is what makes it bearable. Oh. Uh, Whoa, oh yeah. man. Woo! I like the pixel art in this game a lot too. I do. I love it. Wait, wait. Sort of touched on it a, a little bit, yeah. I think, but... Wow, how many... Jeez. Oh, well, she's just dead. <laughs> that's, I mean, I guess you said I'll captures maybe... a maiden. Oh, no, 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 I'm pretty no, no, no. sure oh. that there's no maiden that's alive after these encounters. I guess... Oh, no, that's totally why we keep running around looking for a maiden, is because they all... Horny. Well, no, because they all die oh. before we save them. Kill, kill. No! Oh, so you can get out of there. Yeah, I just didn't realize what the right button was Ooh, right away. Chris, you're not doing so hot. I'm doing okay. <clears throat> yeah? <laughs> doing all right. <laughs> all right, so with this boss, you've got the bubbles, and you've got the tentacles that sort of mm -hmm. spring up. Now, I guess I understand what the tentacles are there for. It's, it's to force you to jump to a different platform. I actually Woo. say other... Well... I guess yeah. Ooh. I for some reason I thought that they would only stay in between the uh, platform. Oh no! Then if that were the case, then yeah, I would agree that they're kind of pointless. Ah! Oh. Good job, Chris. You done did it. You hear that, future Chris? Well done. Woo. Woo. Oh. oh. Who knew that when you dashed into a tentacle monster, it would hurt you? I. It's really easy to just like hit the wrong wow. button in this game. Yeah, I think. This guy was actually easier than um, most of the enemies. Okay, I'm... Oh, that's right! What? This... I love this level. It's really, really difficult. But I love that this is a concept. The afterlife. Wait, you're dead? You're dead. Okay, you're in now... The, you're in the hold underworld. On. I... Okay. 
<laughs> I love the concept of it. However, um, I almost feel oh, no, sort no, of no. going along with the issue that you had with the recovery hearts. Or the, the, the gold hearts. Ow. Um, if this was a level in the game, why have you only gone to it after the squid grabbed you? Yeah, that's. I think that's actually my whoop, my main beef is like if maybe you go through a little randomized version of this every time you die to hold onto your golden hearts. Oh, I see what you're saying. You know, that's my thought. That would be so. That would, that's interesting. I've seen some games do that. Um, yeah. A good example is um, what is it called? It was one of those first-person shooter horror games. Mm, horror. I'm not gonna. It. Wow, I can't think of the name of it. But basically, yeah. you. The concept is. Wow, that would just. Sad. <laughs> the concept of that, or the the way that game works is, when you die, you're like some Native American dude that gets abducted by an alien. Um, and for some reason, your ancestors like bring you back to life every time. Okay. Um, but every time you do, you have to go through some sequence to come back to life. Okay. Um, and the, oh man, it's it's really hard to time that. The, it, I guess really what I'm trying to get at is that that style of like go through this little afterlife sequence generally feels like a time waster because not challenging, it's not fun. So really, is the only point. Of it to just like justify you coming back to life. It's because I don't think you need that justification. I would rule that. Okay, to to make it so it's not just a complete waste of time. Every single time you die, you have to go through it. If you have golden hearts currently equipped, Ooh. you get one shot. If you make it through without dying, you get full health. You hold on to all your recovery hearts. But that is the only time that you go through it. But what if you have more than one gold heart? Then you have more than one gold heart. That's it. Like, the idea is that you get one chance to hold on to a gold heart. And if you die, then if you, you just die, lose If you die, you lose one. it anyway. But if you... So say I have three gold hearts. Yeah. Then if I, you die, you I, still lose one, because that's already a, do a concept. I, do I, well, do I go through that, that death sequence? Yes. Oh, okay. Then yeah, I think that would make sense. It's a good balance, and it's not every single time. You literally only have one chance to hold on to that gold heart. If it's still, if you still die and lose it, then that's it at that point. I'd say then the only way to make that work is if it's fast enough, because right now, in, in the game is designed for the player to die frequently and very quickly too. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess if I've lost all my gold hearts, then it suddenly becomes. Not a, a waste of time. Yeah. Um, My question is, if this is the afterlife, where are the maidens? <laughs> uh, I think there might... I don't think there is a maiden, actually. Oh, yeah, because they all did die. I see what you're saying now. Whoop. I don't know, hey, man. You, you were it, in the, the afterlife is The afterlife is a big place. Yeah, it's got this metal-looking skeleton with some spikes on its head Dude, he and even a has beard. A goatee. Hey, oh no, this is still the first area, isn't it? Uh-oh. Oh no, it's not. Okay, never mind. These, I like oh, these I little... Oh, I hate it when that happens. I like the little... Oh, I'm gonna land points. on the... <laughs> <laughs> I think it was well-timed, too, to make sure that the player does that, and they're like, Oh, well, okay, yep. I guess this is a thing that's well, happening. fine, I guess I'll just wait. <laughs> fine. So here's, here's the next thing. Mm -hmm. um, this isn't the last level. This isn't the last world. Yeah, is it like the next one Valhalla or something? I wish. It's just Arctic. That's all the next level is. I know! How does that make sense though? We we get out of the afterlife. And then we keep looking for mates. That literally doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I know. I, I just leave the part where I teleport to when I die. Oh and hey, weird. I'm in the Arctic Oop, now. Oop, this is not gonna end well. Yeah, I feel like the afterlife should have been that conclusive. Yeah. Thing. Like Absolutely. maybe you maybe after the afterlife you get like your original maiden back. Or hey, you were talking about having the first boss have a little like more to it. What if the final boss of the game is the Brontosaurus and it introduces a different mechanic or two to go go over the lessons you've learned throughout this entire game? 
You mean like they bring it back in they the afterlife? They bring it back and the, it's like guarding the spirits of the maidens or whatever. They actually might do something sort of like that in the Arctic level. I don't... I don't quite remember. Boomerang is kind of nice. I forgot about this one. Does it... Uh, Doesn't save me there though. Because I threw it the wrong way. <laughs> Weird how that works. This area I kind of like because it's kind of kind of similar to um, Mario style levels where you see the little like slime ball. In Mario, it'd be the fireball. Yeah, oh, um, yeah. But you see it fall falling in the distance, so it Got gives you a dash. So you don't get your boomerangs back. I thought it was better than that. <laughs> well. That's that. I thought the boomerang came well, back okay. and you were like, Let's, oh, I have an infinite supply of This is going off of realism. <laughs> when well, yeah, you throw you a boomerang, do you really expect to catch it? Well, here's the thing. Real boomerangs, like actual combat boomerangs, they don't come back. Exactly. You, you use them for hunting to break the neck of the animal you throw it at, or I guess the human if you're in... I couldn't help but notice that when you said break the neck, you got really into it most of the break time. Break the neck. Yeah, I know. This fucking this is fun. Well, fun. while we had fun talking about broken necks, what is our question of the day? Uh, hmm. What was the big thing we talked about? We talked about the death sequence uh, going. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, life to hold onto a heart. So, okay, what do you think about that? Do you think this game could benefit from having like a death sequence mini mini game kind of thing? Um, where it gives you the chance to keep your the golden hearts that you've obtained. Yeah. Um, with that said, too, how would you if if you do think it would be useful, how would you rebalance the game to make sure that you don't the player doesn't have you know a hundred hearts by the end of it? Yeah. And as always, uh, the question will be posted down below in the comments. Yep. Uh, so feel free to go ahead and comment. And let us know what you think. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye.